relationship with yourself, your relationship with God, your relationship with the earth. And in old cultures, it was a sacred herb. They built temples to it. They named countries out of it. It's a peaceful drug. It's a quiet drug, you know. He asked the police, there's never any problems from pot in town. It's always alcohol, you know. Nippon was a pretty empty ghost town, almost. When the Australian Union of Students came up here in 1973 looking for a place to hold this Back to the Earth Aquarius Festival, really Australia's version of Woodstock, probably, the Nimbin community, uh, you know, said OK. And it was a huge success. They bought the land and it's really over time become the hub of the alternative movement. It's a town full of black sheep, really, and very strong sense of community and family. We're all a bit alienated. We're all a bit, you know, like, like outsiders get pushed together. Wet greetings and welcome to the Big Bong Peace Pipe Project. Now, basically what this is, is a blatant act of world peace. We're going to build a working 240-foot tall marijuana pipe where you'll be able to walk through and breathe the air of green freedom. I mean, we're talking the big bomb, the peace pipe. It's no small thing, you know, being labelled a criminal for, for using and smoking a herb. It's, it's our drug of choice, or a lot of people around here and mine. And, you know, it's a big burden, and it's something in your mind you have to deal with. You know, you've labelled a criminal, you're alienated, and you really don't believe you are one. We'd had a particularly bad year of helicopter raids, which are really quite personal, you know, hassling your houses and children and frightening people. We thought, enough, we're going to have a rally, you know, end cannabis laws and free marijuana rally sort of thing. And we picked the date, May the 1st, to coincide with traditional human rights. And what are we going to do, carry our banners? No, we'll make a big joint. So we made you know, a big joint and it became the focus of the rally, kind of. We called this Mardi Gras. It doubled in numbers every year. So a couple of years later, we needed a better joint. So we made the new joint with hemp cloth, good bamboo frame in a couple of days. And that's lasted ever since. We're busy people, us hippies. <laughs> we weren't going to put too much time into it. It took a couple of days. I've been involved with the joint from the beginning and I'd have to say quite attached to it. And it, it's really the symbol that we carry. People walk inside it, it usually ends up knocking on the police door and they're pretty good natured about it. And that becomes the focus of the rally. You've got this weird looking thing wobbling its way along in, in a throng of people with about 40 legs coming out from underneath it, smoke billowing out the front. It's quite a funny thing. People usually just laugh. But the joints have this long history. It's, it's got some serious opponents. It is a real drug war, really. We see it as a war against the people and against one of nature's most popular medicines and industrial plants. You know? No web have I ever been, and no web have I ever seen a web zone quite like this one. I mean, it's a, it's a tourist resource, the big bong for a start. I mean, you only have to ask 10 people, would you visit a big bong on the side of the road? And they all say, yeah, I'd stop and have a look. No one has ever died from cannabis use in the history of the 10,000 years of the, of the world using it. Since I started smoking marijuana, I've managed to travel across to America and back. I've written a novel. I've become one of the world's leading web programmers. I work 12 to 18 hours a day. Um, all of the stuff is done because of the herb. And it wasn't until I was 24 that I, I first smoked pot and it had a profound influence on me. But the consequences of, of, of it being illegal, of me being a criminal, and me having to sort that out in my head was just bloody huge, you know. I spent 10 years uh, wandering around in India and overseas trying to work out who I was and where do I fit in and, and my dad, you know, get a job, son, and all that stuff. It's 
taken 20 years for me and Dad to be good mates again, and he enjoys his whiskey every evening, and I might smoke my joint, and that's cool. The gasgroup.com forward slash peace pipe project. Or go to every other cannabis website on the web and follow the hot link to us. We're pretty well known. We're one of the biggies. The kind of art that, 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 that no one's doing. This is cyber art. This is reality. We're all still criminals. So on that level, nothing's changed. Although I think attitudes are changing. More and more people realise it's got to change in some way and we can't keep locking everyone up.